So you want to get into blacksmithing, but maybe you don't know where to start, or maybe you're on a budget. So I've talked about hammers, I've talked about anvils, now we're going to get into budget forges. There's two key types of forge, some form of gas burning forge, and then a coal forge. Now I know what you're probably thinking, I don't have $300 to spend on a forge, there are in fact other ways to heat steel. Now you can use something like a bath gas torch. It's gonna take way more time than a fully enclosed forge is, but it'll, uh, it gives you something to work with. Now something you can do to trap that heat is to make your own little paint can forge or soup can forge. It'll work. I used this forge to heat treat the blade on a little neck knife, so it is entirely possible to get up to relatively high temperatures with this setup. Now, if you're able to afford it, this is the Mr. Volcano two burner forge kit that you can buy on Amazon for $130. The one burner version of this which is perfectly sufficient for learning the basics of blacksmithing is $88. From all of the blacksmithing groups and the forums that I've read, this is a very good forge for the money. Now as far as coal forges go, I don't have a ton of experience, but I can tell you what I've seen. This is a very large coal forge. Now most people wouldn't need anything this big, uh, especially for beginner projects. It's similar to uh, making an anvil shaped object work uh, is, is you're limited by your creativity in creating some sort of firebox or something. I've seen a lot of people use brake drums from big pickup trucks or 18 wheelers. There's always the option of digging a shallow pit or trough and providing some way to force air underneath it and covering that with coals. Don't break your HOA rules. Um, as far as the motive force of making the fire hotter and crank blowers work super well, they're literally built for it. Um, I've seen people use hair dryers, leaf blowers. So like I said, it's really about getting creative when it comes especially to building your own coal forge. And you can get very creative in building propane forges as well. If you like this video and you wanna see more blacksmithing on a budget, let me know what else you wanna see. Drop a like, comment, give me a follow, and we'll see you on the next one.